Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Talk Japan. On this show we talk about all things Japan in English. My name is Mitch and I'm here with... Natsuki. Hi Natsuki, how are hello, you? Hello, hello, I'm good. How is your life? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm being busy, very busy. Very busy? Yeah, because, you know, like I, uh, I haven't told anyone yet, but I am changing my career. I mean... Changing your career, is that what we're saying when you're, when you're quitting? That's right. <laughs> it's a good way, right? <laughs> nah, Natsuki's, Natsuki's quitting her job so you can become a, you can work on being a full time English coach. English coach. Yeah, that's right. And some other stuff. Some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's a good step for you. I think that you you did uh, recruit for a long time. Don't I say think... my company's name. Oh, who knows? No one... <laughs> You're quitting. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? No, I was going to say. Who cares the buzz where we? I was, oh, was going to say something good about your former, your your current and soon to be former employer. That they're very kind to you mm -hmm. over. Oh, you worked there over ten years, right? Over ten years, right? And uh, they allowed you to work on side projects while you're working there full time. That's right. They're very flexible with you. Uh, you know, you got to go on maternity leave. Everything. They were a great employer. That's right. So, and it's not. It's not that you don't like them. It's just that you want to just do something else. Exactly, I love them. I love them, you know. But just like you said, I wanted to something more, so yeah. I'm quitting. So it's a good mm -hmm. thing, I think. Yeah. So I've been busy, you know, to clean up everything. To before. clean up everything. <laughs> All of the I messes leave. that I made. Oh my god, let's roll that intro. <laughs> do, 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 you don't need to see it. It's fine. It's fine, isn't it? <laughs> so Natsuki, uh, have you ever quit a job? Uh, you quit recruit once before. Yes, I did. Yes. And what happened? What, what do you mean? So, uh, so first I was a contract worker. Yeah. And then so my contract ended. Ended. So yeah. I left the company yeah. and then I worked for my, you know, my parents' company. And then at that time um, they changed their uh, rules and so I could cut, go back to the company again. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So you went back? I did. Why did you go back? Because it was like, Daku, 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 Daku. No way! Hey, what are you talking about? You know, Naku but... the kind of the show. No. <laughs> so, Naku uh, Naku means that it was easy. 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 No, it's not easy at all. It's not easy but at it's, all. But you enjoy it. It's a fun. I, I it's did. Fun. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, I love the people there. They're good people. I, I know some of your coworkers are all fun. Mm, yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. Um, but congratulations on making the uh, job change. Uh, we'll talk about it probably more in the future. Sure. Let's get to really important news, all shall right. we? All right. Here we go. There is apparently a flesh-eating bacteria. This is reported by the my. The, oh my God! You have some on your face. Oh my God! This is by the Asahi <laughs> Shimbu. Flesh-eating bacteria uh, cases top one thousand with cause unknown. Yeah. So this is kind of scary. Uh, so yeah. last year I think it topped out at nine hundred and forty-one cases, but this year we've already got one thousand nineteen cases. And the thing is, is this this is called. Um, I'm going to try to re read this. Fluminant streptococcal toxic shock, st st shock syndrome, or STSS. Just Google STSS. Uh, this is a uh, flesh-eating bacteria uh, that hmm? is it a virus or is it a bacteria? So this is caused. This is caused by strep throat. But the thing is, is instead of it being like normal strep throat, it gets into your. It gets into your bloodstream like past your skin that's right and yeah. in some of people in some people especially older people especially people with uh uh certain diseases this can cause them to like become flesh eating bacteria can infect patients through wounds of the hands and feet causing rapid necrosis and multiple organ failures and some people have been known to die within about 40 eight hours so, i mean i feel bad about it now because i made fun of you you know i made kind of joke but i saw a documentary you know people had this bacteria and you know they, they were suffering from the pain and his face actually went you know bad so it says death can occur within a few dozen hours of its onset the fatality rate is an estimated 30 percent, which is considered extremely high now you guys might be asking yourself well what about the rest of the world is this a, is this a thing well uh, it says many cases caused by this strain have been reported in the UK and other countries since the 2010s. Experts believe that this particular strain entered Japan from overseas and suggest that this is a prob probable cause for its spread. We don't know the exact reason, but the number of patients with uh, pharyngitis can be can uh, caused by strep is increasing, and that increase is believed to be contributing to the increase in numbers of STSS patients. Said as health minister. A re representative. You have no way to, you know, save yourself. I mean, protect yourself, right? You, if you realize that you had it, you are already not got, have bacteria, so you have no way to protect. 
So what they say, um, and what the CDC also uh, recommends is just taking simple uh, precautions like washing your hands, wearing a mask if you're in a crowded area. Uh, but there are so many people that just don't wash, just don't wash their hands. Oh, yeah. And so I think that if you wash your hands, especially if you've got an open wound or something like that, you should mm -hmm. definitely wash it. And so like it's just hygiene. And then also hopefully like if you are sick, sick with strep or something like that, stay away from people who are potentially uh going to you know older people people with hiv or uh, uh diabetes and stuff like that sure okay. so just stay away yeah. from those who are weak uh, okay the top uh, reddit comment on this since i always like to read reddit co comments i'm going to get downvoted for this but i'm going to say it anyways wash your damn hands with soap i see so many people here think a quick rinse with water even after touching flush button door etc on a public toilet is enough it isn't i they agree yeah that's true do you still have like you know how do you say shodok spray? Disinfected spray. Disinfected spray. Disinfectant spray. Disinfectant spray. So people used to have it with so, them. So I, I got something better. So I used to carry the spray with me, but I stopped doing the spray. Now I use shodok shito. Like wet towel? It's like a wet towel, but it has alcohol on it. And so not only does it like disinfect, it can also wipe off any crap on my hands okay and okay. sometimes because i'm fucking weird everybody <laughs> when i get like beers from the kombini and i go to like a home party i'll take out my shoulder sheet and like wipe off the the, the mouth part That's of the right. beer so you used to press the elevator button with your key you used no 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 you used to oh, do i don't that? have my cell phone i i do it with the corner of my cell phone okay you still do that but i use my keys because i have a little hook on my keys i use that to open doors that are gross all right so dude i don't touch anything the, Still the, now. Even now. The pandemic didn't didn't change me. The pandemic made everybody think that I was normal. That's true. So before pandemic, you didn't touch anything. Anything. Oh, except for sometimes okay. maybe some dirty girls. Oh. <laughs> can't can't be helped there. Sorry. No, I, but all kidding aside, like I, I would I wouldn't touch anything. Like if I if I didn't have anything, I would like use my shirt to like open the door. Oh, oh, oh. I just Good don't touch you. anything. Good for you. And in fact, this kind of sounds gross, but you'll understand what I've done. Like sometimes I'll like, when I go to take a pee, for example, I'll go into like a really gross bathroom and like the bathroom just looks like it's just infected with something. And so I'll just go in there and I'll have myself a pee, like a no touch pee, don't even touch myself and I pee and then I leave and I don't touch it. I don't, I don't, I don't wash my hands there because I think that the, the sink is disgusting and like, Sometimes I don't even have paper towels or whatever. And I'll go back to the, my table and I'll pull out one of my little disinfectant sheets and I'll just like wipe my hands. Good. I don't touch anything. Good. Good. I'm, I'm, Good. No. So suppose like if you go to the park or like outside something and then there is an outside bathroom, would you go there? I have a lot. So the great thing about a lot of Japanese toilets that are outside is that there's no door. It's just like a like a S-shaped hallway. That's right. So I just like... <laughs> <laughs> go and do my business and i just leave if um, i if, if that's if i'm going show number one if i'm doing so this is great in japan show is number one die big number show two. is small is number one mm -hmm. and then die big is number two that's right so you'll hear like mommy's asking their little kids like eh, show die no, no no they don't say that like how do they say that shishi kana well, well, anyway is pp a uh, pp oshiko oshiko mm. Mm. Anyway, okay. And okay. Then? Mm -hmm. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. Let's continue, shall we? So we've shall got we? we've got we've got another. I'm going to translate this to English so it's easier. We've got another one. Uh, this is from Ka Kana Ro Roke. Well, I don't know news, whatever this is. Uh, I think this is supposed to. Be, Ebino police surgeon arrested on the spot for attempted laundry th theft. The fifth prefectural police officer this year. <laughs> so this guy is 29 years old and he was he was uh, arrested for trying to steal laundry uh, from a man's house and then the man uh fall, no sorry uh, go ahead. This, the, the police officer is 38 years old and then the guy he was trying to steal the guy that noticed him trying to steal laundry in an apartment complex was 29 years old and then uh, he chased him for 100 meters and caught him and then now he's arrested and he's like the fifth person this year to get arrested, fifth up uh, 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 police officer this year to get arrested. Speechless. That's a nice song from mm -hmm. Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Speechless. Speechless. Mm -hmm. So let's see, was there any good? Yeah, that's a nice song uh, from Aladdin. Okay, so the, live here, action Aladdin. 
Top comment, bro, I started reading this article assuming the topic was money laundry, money laundering. Then I really I realized they are actually just talking about just laundry. What do you mean money laundering? Money laundering is where the Yakuza take money that they've illegally acquired in Japan or other countries to Las Vegas, and then they make it they 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 make it so you can't trace it anymore. Uh, <laughs> so they the 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 person who commented on that you know in I know stuff they were talking about money, but it was actually the Just real laundry. laundry. Just laundry. <laughs> Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> it is. Uh, I feel ashamed. <laughs> let's just keep going down the shame tunnel. Japan and Axe Life. Tunnel. Finally, Japan and Axe. Why is my why is this kiddo news? Okay, Japan and Axe Law to restrict sex offenders from child related work. Finally. So, finally, right? Mm. So Tokyo, the Japanese parliament on Wednesday enacts a law for introducing a system to enable employees to check whether job ap applicants are registered sex offenders dating back 20 years in a bid to block sex crime convicts from join from, from jobs involving children. So good. Good. Do we have feel... anything else to say about that? It's just good, right? <laughs> this is very good. Right? It's... Yeah, as a parent, I feel safe now. <laughs> I don't, but <laughs> I'm not a parent. So it says, under the new law, employers, employers will be required to take action if it is deemed that an existing employee, despite having no sexual criminal record, could commit a sexual offense based on complaints by parents or children. So uh, so you mean before, so the, like, let's say the teacher did some, some sexual thing, but she, he or she could back to their job after like a while? Yeah, some of them just stayed in their job. Ooh. Yeah, because, you know, who cares in Japan, right? Ooh. So, wait, I, uh, here we go. So, so let's go to our next story. So we've got a, we've got a story about a, a 54-year-old, I think, Osaka man who tried to prostitute an elementary school student under the guriko sign, which is my <sighs> favorite part of this. Osaka, ne? Yeah, it says gurishita. Gurishita. <laughs> uh, first time to hear that. Gurishita. <laughs> So basically, um, the, the man denies all allegations. He says that uh, he was just he just took her back to a hotel, but there was no sexual acts involved. But, but uh, it says he, he contacted the elementary school girl over SNS and for the purpose of so-called sugar daddy activities or Papa Katz. Papa Katz. Mm. Now I remember that when I was twelve, when I was sixth grade, you know, some. Oh no! Where is this going? No, 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 no! no. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong, but there were some, chikan, chikan. How do you say that? Pervert. 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 On the like, trump that yeah. I I always get oh, in. Oh God! Yeah. Thank you for the segue. We're going right to get, keep going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And so, so I am saying that there are some per perverts. Perverts. Perverts like to touch those, you know, little kids. It always exists. Right. I just don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I, the little kid thing, I don't get it. Regular perverts, the guys who like like molest and harass girls on a subway, while I think it's horrible, I can still understand the logic. Mm -hmm. like, I get it. But like the kid stuff, I just don't get. Mm, probably, you know, kids are, you know, can't fight them back. That's even worse. <laughs> That's so worse. <laughs> Speaking of fighting back, Taiwan's most beautiful politician kicks Groper in the balls during visit to Japan. <laughs> so basically, there's a there's an FNN video of this uh, where let me mute it. So let me put it up on full screen. So this dude was actually this guy actually started following her from inside of a store. This kind of starts off in the middle of the thing, but he you can see he's in a store and she, and he's carrying a tall boy and she's like recording him because she's like this dude's weird and i don't know about this guy so he like follows her outside and where he's like saying like he starts talking to her in japanese she says walk out on i in japanese and then he starts speaking to her in a mixture of english and japanese where he says ah, wait 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 he says like shit like where are you from and stuff like that all the while he's like he's like kind of touching her mm -mm. in the butt twice mm, mm. and so, so anyway so she felt like she needed to defend herself it doesn't show in this video I, I desperately looked for this video and I couldn't find it but uh, it, he eventually uh, she kicks him in the nuts and then you can see the aftermath of that which is this this is after she kicked him in the balls there you go girl there you mm. go girl <laughs> now I'm not here to uh, to support violence of any kind but if somebody was trying to feel up my sister or mother or wife or something like that and uh she kicked him in the balls i would be very happy about that mm. so is it a thing that for following visitors to drink around the street like outside 
You know what I mean? So that was a Japanese guy, right? Drinking oh, outside. Oh, that was a Japanese guy. Sorry. Dude was a Japanese guy. Oh, okay. Heck yeah, he was a Japanese oji man. Mm-mm. But speaking of drinking outside. Anyway, so I just wanted to let you guys know that the Taiwanese uh, uh, politician, mm-hmm. she said that she doesn't blame Japan and she looks forward to coming back here again because she loves Japan. So that's good. But speaking of drinking on the streets, Shibuya, this is by uh, Go, Goemon. Uh, Shibuya to officially impose a year-round ban on street drinking starting in October. So basically... Um, right before uh, Halloween. Eh? Right. So, la- so every, for a couple of years before Halloween, they've been um, banning drinking on the streets in, in Shibuya to avoid, avoid all of the crazy Halloween crowds. And then recently with the uh, increase in foreign visitors, they're saying, there's too many people drinking on the streets. But here's my two things about this. One, do whatever you guys want to do, Shibuya. I don't give a fuck. But, t- but two... The people who are drinking on the streets are fucking Japanese people. That's let's right. let's not be. I mean, yeah, there's some foreign people, mm-hmm. but I go to Tokyo frequently, and I see a bunch of ja- drunk ass Japanese dudes, especially dudes, uh, sitting in Yankee squat on the street. That's right. That's so true. That is so true. It may be like young young people or like students, or maybe not even students. Yeah, they drink outside. Yeah. They, yeah. Of and, course. They, they've been doing that for 50 years. I, I don't see why. I did that when I was in college. In Osaka. In Osaka. Yeah. Was because it, we didn't was have... It, yeah. Was it Gurishita? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Gurichika. <laughs> near near, near, near Guriko. Near Guri, Guriko. <laughs> <laughs> because we didn't have money, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. I mm-hmm. totally understand. Speaking of Yankee poses, increasing number of Japanese people unable to squat like a Yankee. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is a Yankee squat right here in the center of the screen. This is basically where you sit on on your heels mm-hmm. okay so you're not so so most us foreign people when we try to do a squat we lean forward on our feet so our feet aren't flat on the ground anymore our heels lift up but the yankee squat lets them sit on their heels like this and they make kind of a chair where they kind of sit on the the back side of their feet okay can you do this let me let me do you want me to do it yeah right let's now? try it let's try it. no one can see this but let's try yeah i can still do that all right she's doing it she did it she did it. All right. So this all, this story all started with uh, the Soda News reporter talking about being in Shibuya. So you can see, you can see, like here. I want, this is in no. What this, a is, this, this is Kabuki Cho. Sorry, this is Kabuki Cho. So this is Kabuki Cho in the morning after everybody got really drunk. As you can see, all the foreign oh people. Oh my god! Real all, biohazard. All, all of the foreign people. By that I mean all the Japanese people who are drunk on the street. Yeah, maybe those are the, you know, tourists from outside, I mean, countryside of Japan. There's those Japanese, whatever. So yeah. as, as you can see, the reporter on the Soda News article talks about how people are sitting directly. Ah, this is Yankee pose, right? That's here. This right. is Yan- Yankee squat. Mm-mm. But you can see these people here are sitting directly on the floor, which in my day, like these people back here as well, they're sitting directly on the floor, would just never have happened. Everybody would be Yankee squat and they'd all be smoking cigarettes. Do you know why they can't do it anymore? Because there are used to be many Japanese-style toilets everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where they get the training. And so actually, so uh, so TBS News, they actually did this on their news program. I'm going to show a little bit of this, where they asked their, their, their anchors, can you guys do the Yankee squat? And this one, oh my God, this one in the middle here. <laughs> What's, I don't know. Hold on, Chiaki. Chiaki, her, mm-hmm. hers is so good. Look at that. And she's even in heels. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at her face. <laughs> so proud of herself. Look at them. They're all Yankee squatting on yeah. the news. I love it. It's great. Anyway, so Natsuki, you can Yankee squat. I can't. I can do it for a little bit of time, but not for a very long period of time. Because you haven't, you know, done your, you know, Japanese style toilet. Yeah, so, uh, dude, every time I have to use... If it's just to go show, uh-huh. right, number one, it's no problem for a jamming style. Because you, need, you don't need to sit down, no, right? I just, I just stand, stand over up, it, right? Yeah. But if it's number two, like, every time I, I run the Nanohana Marathon, there's just a bunch of squatty potties out there. And, like, you, before you run a marathon, you should be fully evacuated. Yeah. You don't want to have anything in you. So I'd always go to the toilet and, like, have to take... Because Japanese people would just pull down their pants, squat, do their thing, and then they'll oh, be... Oh, you told me you have to take off everything, right? Yeah, because I'm uh. like a child. <laughs> I'm like a 41-year-old child. <laughs> so I take off all of everything, except for my shoes. Uh-uh. And then I put it over the, the, the door. Uh-huh. And then I'm like, all right, let's do this. We got this. Uh, what what about, uh, I have a question. What about like Western people go camping and then there aren't any toilets and then but they wanted to do number two? What would to be they completely do? honest with you, I've never been in that situation. I've never been, I've never had to poop outside. 
Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither. But there are but in I, case, in case. I think people just lean against a tree or something, oh, or I squat. Oh, I don't I really know. Leave us a comment, you <laughs> wilderness people. How do you poop outside in yeah. America well, or like, Canada? Like survival. If you you have to survive yourself, like how would you do that? Well, I don't know. I'd figure it out. Okay. I'd, I'd find a way. <laughs> Oh, here's a weird story. Okay, so the Tokyo governor, Koike, faces complaint over allegedly fake university diploma. So one of her, so she published in her, uh, her biography, this is, by the way, from the Mayanichi. Uh, she published in her biography that she... Um, Roger from Cairo, Cairo University. University in Egypt. Hmm. I did not know about that about her. I mean, I, th I think she's a badass. I really think she's cool. Uh, she's, she's like one of my favorite politicians in Japan. But apparently she graduated or didn't graduate from Cairo University. But she says, no, the person who's accusing her is just like, I think, a political rival. And so she's like, shut up. I graduated. What are you talking about? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, it always happens in, in this season of the year. You know, when she, you know, ele electo, electo, uh, ele election, election, mm. when she goes to election, mm. always this news coming up. And, but always she always go disappear after everything ended. So I don't know the truth. I don't care. I think she's do she did a great job during the pandemic. I think she's a good mayor. So let her or governor, governor, governor. governor. She's fine. She's Tokyo great. Metropolitan Governor, right? Is she a mayor or governor? Let me double check. I don't Tokyo know. Tokyo Metro Governor. She's governor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sometimes I I'm not sure about the translation of the words. Here we go. Here I think this is probably our last story today. But here we go. This is from the Asahi Shimbun. <laughs> but this is foreign writers call police during unwanted tour with silent driver. Huh. What do you mean? So what happened? <laughs> this happened in Kyoto. Two foreign nationals who mistakenly boarded an out-of-service bus made an emergency call to police after the driver declined to talk to them or stop the vehicle, sources said. The Kyoto City bus covered about four kilometers over around 20 minutes before uh, the, misadventure, the misadventure finally ended, according to the Kyoto Municipal Transportation Bureau and other sources. The bus driver, who belonged to West Japan JR Bus Company, explained that he kept driving because of the language barrier. <sighs> I didn't know how to respond to the foreigners, <laughs> said the sources quoted him saying, I thought it would be better to deal with them at the bus terminal office. <laughs> the Kyoto M Municipal uh, Government outsources, the Kyoto M Municipal, uh, the Kyoto Municipal Government outsources the city bus service operations par partially to West Japan JR Bus. We apologize for the inconvenience we have caused to the customers and official of the bus company said. We will make what happened clearer and educate our drivers thoroughly. <laughs> I don't know if if I was a bus driver, okay, and I and some people get on my out of service bus and I can't speak English because I'm a bus driver and I live in Japan and standards are low. If I say to myself, okay, I'm in a situation, two people on my bus, they're not supposed to be on my bus. Do I a stand up and go gesture to them? Mm, 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 mm. So, That's right. No, 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 sorry. Mm, please get out. Or, right. I think mm. everybody in the whole fucking world knows knows the word sorry. Mm -hmm. well, no, say, no. Or no. Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's option one. Option two, wait for them to get off the bus. All right. Uh, stop the bus. and Stop wait, the bus. Yeah, get off the bus mm -hmm. and maybe say, sorry, please, sorry. And, or, th or three, so, uh, C, use Google Translate. That's right. Or option D, drive the bus for fucking 20 minutes, <laughs> not letting them off the bus while they're panicking as they're calling the police. <sighs> and then finally, when you get to the bus station and say, somebody else deal with this. Sounds like kidnapper. Sounds like a kidnapper, right? <laughs> the hell? That's so weird. That's so weird. How, how old is the driver? I don't know. You, he, he didn't say? I don't know. Let me see. It says... Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. But it's so scary, you know. When I, if I gotta go, if I go to outside of Japan and then you know, get on the bus and they take me somewhere with nothing said, Dude, I don't know. I I would be panicking. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd be panicking too. I wouldn't know what to do. Like, especially if you're in a foreign country and you don't speak the language, that's like, yeah, that's like horror movie level stuff. Yeah. What? All right, let's go to our last story today. Sorry, this is my last story. Japan's major castle, castle entry fees could increase for overseas visitors. This is uh, from Kyoto okay. News. Right? Okay. 
So, so basically, the plan here is that um, the mayor of Himeji in Western Japan in, near, in Kobe wants to um, have it so that the uh, Meiji Castle is thirty dollars to enter, which is like what go sen yen, and then uh, it's five dollars to so like sen yen for mm. for locals. And it's not fair than that. And so, so what I've been saying about this, okay. Is that you? Sh this is the wrong way to do this. Okay, this is, this is the wrong way to do it. Here's the automatically translated version of this. Major Castle considers quadrupling admission fee for foreign tourists only. Currently, one thousand yen for those aged eighteen and over. So this is the dumb way to do this, guys. This is the dumb way to do this. The the top comment on Reddit has it right. Right here, it goes right here. Let this is see. by Same Energy. It says, "Make it a local discount, not a Japanese discount. Use your brain, mayor. <laughs> Use your brain, mayor." It's right there, and I I totally agree with this. I believe that you should have a one price for entry, one price for for everything that that you have for tourist related shit, and if you have, if somebody comes and they show their local ID, I mean, you can even put it like local ID. Uh, discount available little sign you know in japanese something like that and if they come and they show their local id then they get a discount i was thinking about yeah locally. i was thinking about local id we don't have a local id we only have like a driver's license no, 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 no. so it says your address i uh, see uh so something that we can so for, for example we have sengai here in, in kagoshima right so if saying IN's normal admission fee is nisen gohekuen it's not it's way cheaper than that but let's say it's nisen gohekuen 2500 yen okay that's the normal fee. Everybody pays that fee. If you're a local, there's a local discount. So you go up to the little automatic teller thingy, right? Or you talk to the counter lady and you show them your driver's license or maybe you show them your student ID or something like oh, that. Yeah, health insurance ID or something like, like that. that. So, something mm -hmm. has your, your, your right. address on yeah. it. And if it says Kagoshima Shi, mm -hmm. Kagoshima City, mm -hmm. then you're like, okay, you get 20% off or something that's like right. that. Because that's right. we pay right. taxes here, mm -mm -mm. right? That is totally cool with me. I'm totally fine with that. It's not having two prices. It's just a discount for locals. Mm -hmm. That's fucking fine with me. The problem for me is that a lot of times these stupid businesses and, and like this mayor, they go, let's make it a foreigner versus Japanese thing. The mm. whole country. It's mm. like, then they have to start racially profiling the customers, which is a terrible idea. That's right. Don't want to do that. Mm, let's no. not do that. Mm. Let's keep it to a local, uh, a local discount with ID only. And for everybody else, it's just one price, including Japanese people, foreign people, doesn't matter. Naka sounds like so Japan because we have only like one type of face. No, you don't do that's what I mean. Like you, same nationality. Yeah, so it's same it's, looks. It, it comes down to like the everybody's Japanese or they're not mm. mentality, which is so stupid. Because mm. even within Japan, there's a bunch of different types of Japanese people. Exactly. Like Osaka people don't like Tokyo people or they don't like Tokyo. Mm. People in Tokyo think that people in Kagoshima are Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Could be true. And yeah. Okinawa people think that they're, I maybe, a lot yeah. of Okinawa people think that we're Okinawa. Mm -mm. We're part of Japan, but we're Okinawa. That right. So what the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When I go to Tokyo, then I speak Kagoshima direct. Nobody understands me. They do, but like they told me that I'm a Korean. <laughs> Seriously, girl. yeah. No, dude, I was. In, I remember the first time I came to Japan to live, and I was in an izakaya in Tokyo. And I, they're like, where are you going? I'm like, Kagoshima. And they're like, that's not Japan. Those, <laughs> those people, they drink shochu. They're Korean. And they come down here, ain't a single fucking Korean person in Kagoshima. <laughs> they're all just Kagoshima people. Yeah, that's maybe true. And when I went to Guam, I met somebody from Tokyo. Yeah. And then they asked me, where are you from? So I said, I'm from Kagoshima. And then she, she was like, eh, Kagoshima? <laughs> How did you come? <laughs> I got on a plane, you dumbass. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. All right. All right. I got to go to work, guys. It's like Natsuki could only be on today from 4.30, so it's now 5.30. I got to get to work or I'm okay. going to get in trouble. But if you guys uh, have any questions or comments about any of the articles that we featured today, let us know in the description below. Uh, there's a link to our Patreon if you guys want to support us. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I look forward to seeing Natsuki's new career. Phew. Doing something. Yay! Don't forget your dad's pictures. I scanned a bunch of her dad's photos. Right here. They're old. <laughs> There's a DVD in there from 1990 something. I'm gonna bring them back to your to father. His house. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want possession of that anymore. That's scary because it's like 
priceless treasures. Exactly. So the、ね、so if this place、yeah. catches on fire. Yeah. Thank you for you know scanning all my old photos. Now I can you know bring them into my smartphone. <laughs> yeah. If you guys have photos that are irreplaceable, scan them and put them in the cloud, guys. Like or or burn them to to DVDs and put them somewhere. You can know, I、don't. bring a lot of pictures to you? Can you scan them? How much <laughs> are you gonna pay me? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't remember how much my salary like like calculates to every hour. But I'll let you know.、And、if it's、okay. the same amount, then we can talk. Okay. I'm kidding. All right, guys. That's been the show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.